Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a server side database. Uh, inside the database you can you can save your high score list or something like that, a scoreboard. And then even if you close the site, you will still have these. And even if you close the server, you'll still have all the data, so, uh, what is it called, saved. So uh, no need to worry about your data. So first thing we are we are going to create is where the server is going to run. So server.js. Then we need to open a terminal and uh, install the package.json. And we do that by writing npm in it and giving it a name. It's it's asking for a package name down here. So I'll do uh, server site database then it's uh, uh, I'll skip the version description and here at entry point you would have to put in the name of the file you did but mine is the same as server.js um, so I'm just gonna uh, click enter to skip um, test command skip git skip keyword skip author I'm doing code shifty and then after that license is all good and then write yes so it installed our package here which is good so now we need the npm package uh, not the npm package the nedb package which which is a library for for running a uh, or having a database on your server so so let's try to install this now np whoops there down here in the console in the terminal npm install nedb like that so it's installing and we get the package lock and the node modules um, folder so this should be all inside the terminal so we can just no it we can we can't close it we have to run the server too that's right so we can start by by making this comment create database where we are running a constant uh, data store I'm going to call it data store like that equal to require require NEDB like that and then we're going to use that data store so const database this variable database is what we're referring to to do anything with the database. New, remember to put new, and then data store, like that, and call it database.db, like that. So now we actually created the database. We can try to console log the. Um, uh, no, not uh, not try anything, but um, we can try to run this, and um, I'm also always going to like run a uh, server is running, so that I know if the server is not running. So I'll just console log that. Um, so if we try to run it, uh, which we'll do by writing down in the terminal node server.js. It says server is running down here so but as you see the database the DB file wasn't made so it had we, we would have to make make that so how we do that is to, by saying database dot load database and just keeping that empty and that should load it when we run the code again so as you see a database folder is made down here so um, let's try to I'll just make a variable to work with so I'll just call this date handler and make a constant called full date equals to date so this is just my date um, I'll do a uh, insert uh, what database insert uh, 
and I'll do a database dot insert. This is kind of like the database dot push that we used in the uh, in the client side database video. So what we do is just push some data into the database. So I'll just make an array in here, call it date, and with a colon and put in the full date variable from up here. So it just put in the date. Let's try to run this once. It should have put it in here. So look, we have the date and everything. So I don't want more than one date right now, but you could essentially put this in a function um, called um, uh, database insert um, and then call that function once you want this to be called. Um, so I'll just put it in a function for now. Then we can also do uh, then we can we need to find the data from the database once it load it loaded again. So we'll do database um, find and we'll have to do database dot find. We to find everything inside we just put empty arrays comma we'll have to run a function like that error and we'll just call that output so now that we have this we're going to close that off firstly and we're going to if error so if we get an error we just console.log that error so that if we get an error um, we can see what the error is and if there's no error we'll just console.log the output like that so if we try to run it you can see there's the date down here and even though there's a number one the first line is going to be zero so you can always minus the line by what it is so we know this is zero in the array so we can put output and then array number zero and we only want the we only want the date we don't want the id so we put dot date like that so if we run this you can see down in the server it gives me the full date and like we did in the in the uh, what it what is it called the client side um, server database we put it into a HTML file so I'm going to show you how to do that in the in the near future I don't know if it's the next video but hopefully the near future how to how to do that um, yeah I'm just going to call it something like a database usage um, Anyways, um, if you want to see that video, just remember to click the bell and subscribe and like. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.